So you're only going to question six now. This is quite a challenging. This is quite a challenging optimization question. The reason it is quite challenging, you probably can't even realise, but because we have two radiuses here, so it's very hard for us. We want to get rid of little r or h, and it's very, very challenging for us to do it. It requires one piece of information. So if this is my circle, my cylinder is going to sit in it something like this, something like that. And if I pick a point in the middle of my cylinder, okay, that should be what does the bottom equal? What's that equal to? That's the radius of my cylinder, correct? What's this line here equal? Radius of No. Look at that equation. Is it height? Is the full height? Is that the full height of my cylinder? No, half of Half of my height, correct? And what about the hypotenuse? What does it represent? The radius of the circle, which is denoted by capital R. I'll just zoom in on that image. So this image looks like this. That's the radius of my circle. No, nope, that's the radius of my circle. That's the radius of my um, little cylinder. And this is my height on two. It is a right angle triangle. That's important. Why is that important? I'm not going to solve it. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get rid of. I'm going to use Pythagoras where r squared equals h on 2 squared plus the little r squared. Now, what does capital R squared equal? Um, the radius of our big circle, correct? Our big sphere. I don't know what that is. I don't need to know what that is, but I do know that it's a number. It's not a variable, correct? Wait, I don't get it. Of the circle, the sphere. Oh, yeah, okay, got that. Cool. Yeah. I need to get rid of H or R. Which of those looks easier to get by itself? R. Uh, R. Am I okay to leave it as R squared? Yes. Where's it going to go in? Where am I going to sub this equation into? The volume equation. So if I have R squared, I can just shove it straight in, can't I? Mm -hmm. So I should have, that's equation one. And equation 2 will be R squared equals capital R squared minus H squared on 4. Cool. Call that equation 2. This is an optimization problem, so what are we going to do? I'm going to sub 2 into 1. Why am I doing that? Because that gets rid of. Gets rid of one of my variables. Now I've got volume equals pi times brackets h squared on 4, other way around, r squared minus h. Oh. r squared minus h squared on 4 times h. What do I do with those? I probably should do both as well. I'll do them all together. So I get now, my volume equals pi capital R squared H minus pi H cubed on 4. H cubed? H squared times H. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was being real, I should represent all of this if I was being a proper math teacher. I should have my H at the front here, like so, and expand both terms here. Cool? Yeah. What do I do with that? And make A equal zero. First, before I do that. Now, because R is just a number, it doesn't change, so I can just leave it as R. I don't know what the number is, but I know that it's not changing. So, dVdH will be 
Anything with H in it is all I'm worried about. That becomes pi r squared minus pi h squared, three out the front, on four. Wait, why does it become pi r squared? Because I'm differentiating with respect to what variable? Oh, H. H, everything else gets left alone. So, oh, okay. cool. Why are you differentiating the R? Why am I differentiating? The H. H, because the R, I need to do it in terms of R. I'll leave the big capital R by itself. I let that equal zero. I isolate H. equals 2r over root 3. That's my height. How would I prove it's a maximum? Double derive it. It doesn't matter what my r value equals, I know that both h and r, what can they not be? They can't be negatives. Negative times a positive means it's going to be negative, which makes it a max. So I then double derive, I'll just leave you here. Double derive to prove max. What else is involved? And then I could shove this, so that's my first point of call. Once I've done that, I sub h equals 2r on root 3 into, where, where do I shove that? h equals 2r on root 3 into, I'll call it 3. Yeah, but I could, then I'd have to find out what R is in terms of that. It's just more work. Wait, so why do you put it in that number three equation? Because I want to find out what's the question asking for the maximum? Oh. Volume. Oh. So once I've got that, I've got my max volume. In terms of my radius. How cool. do you double derive the... How do I double derive? I'll do it over here. Oh. <laughs> Can you ask that? So I wanted to double derive this. I know dv dh equals, you right gents, pi r squared minus 3 pi h squared on 4. So if I want to double derive that, does this have any h's in it? So that becomes 0 minus, I multiply the 2 down, so 2 times 3 pi h over 4 which simply equals negative 3 pi h over 2. We know h must be greater than 0. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. h must be greater than 0. Therefore, d squared, that's d squared b. How's the height of the number? Thanks, gents. No problem. Oh, sorry, not greater than zero. Because h is greater than zero, that must be less than zero, which makes this a max. Cool. Okay. And then you shove your h value, your original h value, back into your equation. 